Number 43. Can a goalkeeper at her or his goal kick a soccer ball into the opponent's goal without the ball touching the ground? The distance will be about 95 meters. And a goalkeeper can give the ball a speed of 30 meters per second. So basically what this problem is asking us, it's asking us about theoretical range. Okay, so what we're really looking for is to calculate the range of the soccer ball if uh, this goalkeeper is able to impart a, an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. All right, so uh, how do we do that? Well, it sounds like we need another piece of information, and we do. All right, we need to think about what is this angle going to be in here. Now remember, we're looking to maximize the range. Now this you want to remember, to maximize any range, all right, you're going to be looking to kick or punt or whatever, throw a ball, move a ball, any object at an angle of 45 degrees. That angle will give you the maximum possible range. Anything less or more than 45 leads to a sub-maximal range. So that you have to know in order to answer this problem. Now, once you realize that, the problem actually becomes quite simple. So why don't we look at this? Take a look at the formula on the right-hand side. This one right here, the range formula. What does that say? It says the range of x will be equal to the initial velocity squared. Notice how it's not initial velocity in the x or y frame. It's just initial velocity. Therefore, it means the resultant velocity times the sine of 2 times my initial angle, all right, divided by now the value of g. So to find the range, all I need to know is the initial velocity and the angle. That's pretty cool, which we do, right? So the maximum range here, now the reason why it's a maximum range is because I'm plugging 45 degrees in for the angle, is going to be equal to 30 squared times the sine of 2 times 45 all over 9.80. And you can even think about this, right? What's 2 times 45? That's 90. What's the sine of 90? 1. Anything less than that, anything other than 90 in terms of the sine, will be less than 1, right? Think about the sine function. It reaches a maximum of 1. Okay. So now, all we got to do is simply plug it into the calculator. So let's do it. So 30 squared well, I already said it's times 1, right, because the sine of 45 times 2 is 90, and that's all 1. So it's 30 squared divided by 9.8. So it comes out to 91.8. So 91.8, and that's in terms of meters. So what does this mean? This means that looking back at the picture, if the uh, goalkeeper were to import a maximal, uh, maximal angle, right, of 45 degrees, meaning that's the angle that gives the maximum possible range, and uh, he or she kicks the ball at an initial velocity of 30 meters per second, then it will travel, it'll keep going, and oh, it's going to fall just short, right? So it's going to fall right short. Because we calculate it to be the maximum is going to be 91.8 meters. So can the goalkeeper kick it into the opposing net without it touching the ground? No. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope this helped. And uh, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next lesson.